Greetings to everyone. I would like to share my story today. Our marriage began as a traditional marriage between two people who were madly in love. I am currently 49 years old, and my wife is 47 years old. My wife and I had been married for nine years and have two children together. My wife works as a fashion designer, and while I work in advertising, earning three times as much as she does, my wife's job is more of a hobby. My wife had relationships with several men before we got married, but I was unaware of it. After we got married, my wife and her best friend Tina were talking about their fun lives and how many relationships my wife was in, and I was shocked to hear about her dating history, but obviously. I wasn't going to judge her for her past, and since I didn't know about her past before we got married, now I couldn't leave her for her past, Tina, my wife's best friend. Spent the majority of her time at our house. Tina had divorced after three years of marriage, and my wife had been supporting her throughout the process. To cheer Tina up, my wife had taken her on a one-week trip to Las Vegas, where she pretended to be single and had resumed drinking after quitting four years prior. She completely neglected me and our kids, claiming that Tina needed her the most at the moment and that she needed to be by her side the majority of the time to show her support. She packed her provocative dresses for her vacation with Tina. I told her that I couldn't look after our kids for the week because I had a full-time job, but she still wanted me to manage it alone somehow. I was furious at her carelessness, we had a big disagreement since I'm not the type of man to gladly take on all the responsibilities of a household for his wife's adventures. I made it very clear that I didn't appreciate her attitude, but she was passionate about going on her trip, she persuaded her mother to come watch our children so that she could go on her trip. I was suspicious about her trip because she had never bothered to ask her old mother for a favor before, she had never before left our children with anyone else. So the fact that she was prepared to do so now raised my suspicions, she went on a trip with Tina, so I made the decision to keep a check on her. I don't typically use social media, but I made sure to keep up with her posts about the trip there. I also knew she had her Facebook account open on her work laptop, which she kept at home. So I had a plan to check that out because her sudden trip with her divorced friend Tina seemed highly questionable to me, normally, I had no habit of checking her social media or messages. While on her trip, she posted her pictures in revealing outfits, which made me mad, she was FaceTiming with her mother when I was in the same room with her mom. And my wife was unaware of my presence, I noticed some unidentified guys with her in the video, I let her know I was there and I asked her about the guys behind her. She made an excuse and said they were strangers and that they just happened to be in the background, the week passed and she returned from her trip. She was acting unusually strange and being extra lovely with me. After nine years of marriage, our romantic life had grown dull, but after returning from her trip. My wife had been working incredibly hard to reignite our romance. At this time, I was certain that she had been having an affair, and something was fishy, one evening when I got home from work. My wife wore her finest clothes and put on her best makeup, she prepared a candlelight dinner for me and put the kids to bed early, she joined me in my seat as we ate, and... She stated in a husky voice that we are a power couple who, after nine years of marriage, trust one another enough to be open about our relationship and that, in order to spice things up. We should explore into other options, she stated that she desired an open marriage, I sensed something was wrong, I was aware that she was trying to cover up her infidelity. She wanted an open relationship so that she could conveniently meet her cheating partner because she couldn't go on trips every other week to spend time with her AP. 
I was disgusted by her behavior and attitude and wanted to throw her out of my house, but I also wanted her to feel the same way as I, so I agreed to open our relationship. When my wife's best friend Tina arrived the next day, I openly flirted with her in front of my wife and told her that we were now in an open relationship so she didn't have to worry about my wife. Tina relaxed and returned the flirtation because she was aware of my wife's infidelity. Tina was a lovely woman with a good sense of humor, and as time went on, we began spending more time together. My wife wasn't expecting this and was shocked to see us together, because Tina knew I was a good man and hadn't made any advances toward her before my wife demanded an open relationship. So Tina was appreciating my company, I didn't expect things with Tina to get escalate so fast, because I was attempting to preserve the little love I had for my wife since our open marriage. However, Tina made me feel secure and wanted, the way she smiled made me feel at ease. In her embrace, I felt at home. I had begun to spend more time with Tina. My wife was lonely because her husband and best friend were not present to keep her company, my wife's jealousy was so obvious. She was so envious she couldn't spend time with her affair partner whom she had met on her trip, she expected me to be jealous or care about her affair partner or her. She expected me to be envious of her or her partner, but I was so content with Tina that I did not care about her, my wife wanted me to talk to her after seeing me pleased with Tina. But I was too busy with my job, Tina, and our kids to do so, I didn't have time for my wife, a few days later, both Tina and my wife had planned a birthday dinner for me on my birthday. I couldn't decide where to spend my birthday night but Tina's charm was so appealing to me that I wanted to spend time with her. It was my first birthday with her so I tried to apologize to my wife and canceled dinner with her and went on a diner date with Tina on my birthday, I stayed with Tina that night. And when I returned the next morning, my wife was sobbing heavily and said she couldn't handle it anymore, she was begging me to close our relationship. She begged me to quit my connection with Tina and return to normal married life, she admitted that she had violated some boundaries and wanted an open relationship to cover her infidelity. But she never imagined that her closest friend would wreck her life, I reminded her that was her own idea, but I told her that it was not Tina's fault and that Tina had not asked you to cheat on me. It was your own choice, she kept crying and kept pleading with me to forgive her, saying that she had left her affair partner and that she kept thinking about me and Tina all day. That she had become consumed by jealousy but I informed her that my feelings for Tina won't just go away at this point. And that I couldn't go back to my cheating wife simply because she was feeling guilty now and regretted her decision to have an open marriage. I didn't support open relationships and preferred a simple life. But my wife wanted to conceal her adultery because she was bored and she wanted to spice things up and now I was getting bored and tired of her, she had caused her own relationship to fail. She was to blame for the breakdown of her family. Update My wife received a divorce letter from me, but she was unable to accept it, she made a fuss and tried to place the blame on Tina and me for destroying her life however. If Tina and I had wanted to have an affair, we would have cheated on my wife first. Instead, our romance didn't begin until my wife persuaded me to enter into an open marriage. I began seeing Tina in order to get even with my wife, but as time went on, I fell in love with her. Tina kept my wife's infidelity a secret while they were in Las Vegas out of consideration for her friend despite the fact that she was aware of it and tried to stop my wife from cheating. My wife confessed about her infidelity in the hopes that it would mend her marriage, hoping that the truth will heal her marriage, 
in the hopes of getting my forgiveness. She wanted us to start again with our lives and relationship, despite her adultery, she never anticipated me leaving her, my wife regrets her decision to have an open marriage. Regrets her infidelity now, and lives a miserable life with her mother, since she couldn't afford to keep children permanently and because her mental health was deteriorating. She made the decision to give me custody of our children. Tina and I are in love and engaged, and my kids like her because they are already very familiar with her, Tina encourages me to pay for my ex-wife's therapy appointments and medical expenses. My ex-wife doesn't make a lot of money so sometimes we support her because of our stability in our lives and because we feel sorry for her. It's terrible how she ruined her life for small adventures, the emotional turmoil you could experience in an open relationship is one of its main disadvantages. An open relationship could cause excessive amounts of tension and stress if you tend to want your partner for yourself, it is much more important to encourage open communication. You cannot hide your past infidelity by having an open relationship. I appreciate you listening to my story, please subscribe to my channel and like this story, please provide your feedback in the comments section. And share your comments to let us know what you think about it, to grow this channel, we desperately need your support, please subscribe to this channel to show your support. Thank you, have a lovely day.